Hey guys, so today we're gonna look at uh, how to use TypeScript with React. Um, in last two tutorials, we looked at uh, prop types and flow, which also uh, does similar to what TypeScript does. But TypeScript is more comprehensive and a little bit more invasive. We're gonna look at it. We're gonna look at how to install it, how to configure it, and how to use it in our project. By the way, this video is part of a much larger series on React, so if you haven't been following, you can do so. I'll provide a link, a link to the playlist here, and welcome to Texas Tutorials. All right, so let's get started here. Let's say if you want to add TypeScript to your React project, uh, there are multiple ways to do it. The first way is you create a, a React project and then configure your project uh, to use TypeScript, right? And it's a little bit longer way of doing it, but we're not gonna do that. There is an easier way of doing it. If you create your project using Create React App, it has built-in functionality to, to, to configure it for TypeScript, and it's very easy. Uh, create uh, React App, uh, React TypeScript, dash dash scripts version equal to uh, react dash scripts dash ts and this should create a project with typescript already configured and it takes a few minutes to do it all right so it has built the project but it will look a little different than your normal react project uh, because as you can see instead of all the js files you have tsx files and that is because typescript is actually a transpiler so you would write your code in TypeScript and it would get transpiled into whichever version uh, you target it for, uh, you know, for JavaScript. And that's why it will be a little hard to get used to it. But once you get used to it, it's really good. Um, also, it has its own linter built in, TSLint, and it's a little bit strict. So you would have to get used to it as well. And you know you can change it, change whatever you want to change here based on your project requirement. The second thing you want to look at is tsconfig.json. This is where the configuration of your TypeScript is located. As you can see, the target is ES5, and you know you can modify things here as well. Now our focus should be the app.tsx. Uh, this is where we're going to work. So let's start by creating a new component. So what I'm going to do inside the uh, source folder. I'm going to create a new folder called uh, components and inside here I'm going to have our first component called my class.tsx. Remember no JS, only TSX. All right and I can actually copy and paste my class here and then just change. I don't need this here and insert of app I can call it my class extends a react component and it renders and I don't, also don't need this here and instead of exporting a, a app it exports my class now we need to import this here so I'm gonna say import I'm gonna say import uh, from components slash my class and it's gonna be my class well, since it's a default export, I don't need this. And again, it's a strict rule, so it says, you know, it's declared but not used. But we will use it soon. So let's use it. So inside here, I'm going to say my class. And that's it. Now I need to pass some property here. So I'm going to create a property called, let's say, name equal to uh, tech Sith. It's a string. Okay, now I haven't really uh, configured this property here. That is why it's giving this linting error, uh, but it will go away once we do that. So now I need to actually tell this component that uh, there is a property called name. And again, TypeScript is all about types, right? So you need to configure this type. So for that, there is a interface. So you would say, and uh, as soon as I create, I want to export it interface. And the name of the interface would be, let's say, my class props. And it will have name as type string. 
and you need to have a semicolon. It's a little different than regular objects, okay? And then I need to pass this as, as type. Okay, so now I can use this a prop here. Uh, let's create an h1 tag. And here I can say this dot uh, props dot name and h1. All right, so this should be fine. And as you can see, the error go goes away here. But when you compile it, it might be a little different situation. So I'm going to say npm uh, start. All right, it failed to comply because, again, because it's much stricter. So it will, for example, it says app.tsx, it needs, oh yes, here it wants single quotes. So that's why it's complaining. All right, so it has compiled. And I can see the text is here. Great. Now I can create another property here called is married. Is married equal to. Now in a typical uh, JavaScript, you can leave it like JSX, you can leave it like this and it's fine. But here, because of the TSX, you have to do it like this. You need to do it properly. You cannot just do is married. And then here we can use this. Uh, and I can say is married. And this should be type uh, Boolean. Okay. And that should satisfy. Well, there is a one problem. Oh, missing semicolon. So I have a semicolon here. I keep forgetting because it's a little different than regular objects. Also, this name, it's mandatory right now, but I can make it non-mandatory, but I need to provide uh, some sort of default value, right? So uh, you can do using static keyword. So I would say public uh, static and default props. And it should be partial because I'm not going to provide all the all the props. And it's this guy, so equal to this. So here I can provide a, a default value for name, and this would be let's say call it uh, tech Sith. All right. So now it has a default value. So I can actually remove this name from here and it should work but i need to make my name optional because still it says mandatory so it would enforce it and that's why i'm still getting the error so if i just put a question mark here that means it's an optional and there is some other my class tsx 94 yeah it's missing a semicolon that's why it's complaining all right so now it's fine even though I'm not providing any uh, name property here, it's still working fine and as I, I'm getting text okay? So this is how you provide a default property value. Now let's add some state here. So for state, I can say state equal to, and let's have age as the state, and I'm gonna have a 21 as default. So for stage, I can also have an interface so let's say export uh, interface uh, my class state and it has age which is a number all right that's all i need and don't forget the semicolon i hate the semicolon but i have to do it and here uh in the react component i have to provide the okay next root props I, I can provide uh, the state so then you would understand that my state should be this interface okay and it compiles fine and I can say uh, my name is this and I am let's say this dot state dot uh, age years old all right, so it says my name is Texas and I'm 21 years old. All right, now let's create a state uh, less component or functional component, should I say? And I'm gonna say it's my 
comp.tsx and I can also import it here similar to this import statement and I'm importing from components and I'm importing my component and since it's a default I'm just gonna say my component now we haven't really uh, exported here that's why it gives an error because it doesn't know so here I have to uh, export it. Alright, so for the stateless component, yes, I still have to import React. Let's create a component called my comp uh, equal to, and it would have some obviously uh, props. And it's simply returns. And here I can export it. Uh, export uh, default my comp right so here the error should go away here and i can use this my comp here now here let's also pass uh, name equal to and we can say text all right so here now inside the my comp uh, we need to do the same thing now here we can use type guards as well we can use the interface but we can also use type guards since we use the the interface over there let's use type guard here so I can say type um, I'm just gonna say my comp props uh, equal to all right so here I can say name is um, instead of string I can really pass specific values so let's say text means it should be text or it can be interview nest which means only allows two values. If you pass any other string, it would not pass. And here I can use those values, h1 and props.name. Uh, and I can use this my props here. And instead of that weird way, I can just simply use it like this. And what else? It's giving some error app.tsx here, app.tsx. For, oh yeah this should be single quotes as I said it's very strict because of the linting and my component has some semicolon missing this right here and I think it will complain about this as well so let's add it here complains about this white space oh, and it's also complain about this semicolon ah, so many things all right so it works if I hear say something let's say blah it's all auto automatically giving me error here so i don't even have to because it knows that i haven't provided text if i say interview nest then the error goes away by the way interview nest is my second channel if you don't know about let's have is married it's boolean um, let's say if i have a property called kids two kids or four kids that's the the requirement um, lived in and I can say California or Arizona and I can make it actually optional if I did this way then it would not complain okay right now it's complaining because I haven't really provided all other properties so let's provide it is married and kids is married equal to let's say true and kids equal to let's say two it satisfy all the requirements so these are some basic techniques in TypeScript um, there are way more to TypeScript than this and you can explore by yourself uh, my objective was to give you a um, little insight on how to install it how to configure it and uh, how to get started so this is how you get started and I hope you learned something from this tutorial and if you did please like subscribe and provide a nice comment and don't forget to like and uh, you can support this channel uh, via patreon or you can translate this video for me I'll provide the information in the description and thank you